UFC. And Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. We would also like to send a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members joining us today here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We hope to see all of you once again for the live action tomorrow night. And now for the call of the weigh-in for UFC 246, here is Joe Rogan. What's happening, my friends? Welcome to the weigh-ins. How about a nice round of applause for Ariane, Brittany, Red, Brooklyn, Dana White. Without him, none of this would be possible. Bruce Buffer, the voice of the Octagon, Sean Shelby, and Mick Maynard, matchmakers extraordinaire. And we got a banging card for you, ladies and gentlemen. We kick things off on Fight Pass in the women's flyweight division. Sabina Mazo versus J.J. Aldridge. First up on the scale, J.J. Aldridge. Official weight, 125.5. And her opponent, Sabina Mazzo. Official weight, 125.5. First fight of the night, ladies and gentlemen, on Fight Pass, Sabina Mazzo and J.J. Aldrich. The next fight takes place in the light heavyweight division. Alexa Kammer versus Justin Ledet. Justin Ledette, official weight, 205. And his opponent, Alexa Kammer. Official weight, 204 for Mr. Kammer. Justin Ledette and Alexa Kammer, ladies and gentlemen. Next, we move to the prelims on ESPN. We kick things off in the lightweight division. Drew Dober versus Nasara. First up on the scale, Nasrat Hakparast. Official weight, one. 56. And his opponent, Drew Dober. Official weight, 155.5. First fight on ESPN, ladies and gentlemen, Nasrat Hakparast and Drew Dober.
Next, we move to the flyweight division. Tim Elliott versus Askar Askarov.
First up on the scale, Diego Fajera. Official weight, 155.5. And his opponent, the former UFC lightweight champion, Anthony Showtime Pettis. <laughs> Official weight, 155.5. That's a hell of a way to kick off the card, ladies and gentlemen, on pay-per-view. Showtime, Pettis, and Diego Fajera. Next, we move to the bantamweight division. Brian Kelleher versus O'Day Osborne. First up on the scale, O'Day Osborne. Official weight, 135 for the Jamaican sensation. And his opponent, Brian Kelleher. Official weight, 136. O'Day Osborne and Brian Kelleher, ladies and gentlemen. The next fight takes place in the heavyweight division. Alexi Olenek versus Maurice Green. up on the scale, Maurice Green, official weight 243. And his opponent, Alexi Olenek. Official weight, 238 for the Boa Constrictor. Maurice Green and Alexi Olenek. Next, we move to the co-main event of the evening in the women's bantamweight division. Holly Holm versus Raquel.
Official weight, 136 for Raquel Pennington. And her opponent, the former UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Holly Holm. Official weight, 135.5 for the Preacher's Dog. Raquel Pennington and Holly Holm, ladies and gentlemen. Now, let's take a closer look at the two men involved in the main event of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment This sport is my life. It's in me, it's bled in me. I will take it with me to the grave. I must get my head screwed on and just get back in the game and fight for redemption, retribution, respect, the things that made me the man I am. I know what I can do, I've done it before. Oh, he's hurt! That's it! In the whole history of MMA, nobody has done what I have done. History has been made! There's just so many questions that I think him as a man, he needs to answer for himself. Unfortunately for him, he's fighting a cowboy, a guy who takes no shit, goes in there and throws down. I've proved everything I need to prove to myself. I just love to fight. One of the most iconic fighters in mixed martial arts history. I've been here a long time, and I fought the who's who. Oh, that's it! How cold! It seems like every time we walk out there, we get to break another record. Oh! Donald Cowboy Cerrone! The all-time leader in wins! The all-time leader in finishes! You know, I broke the game before I was even 30. My legacy is set in stone. I'm immortalized. You know, everyone always says, oh, I want to get the old Connor back. I want to get the 2016 Connor back, man. I'd smoke that guy. That's the past. You know, I focus on the present. I focus on creating many more magical moments inside the octagon. On the January 18th, I will create it all. For the last 12 years, I've given this sport my all. I don't go out there and just fight half-hearted. Like, I give it all, and I plan to continue. Well, man, this is another main event that people are going to get on their feet and scream and cheer for because his style and my style are both meet you in the middle and throw down. I'm very excited to give my fans something to cheer about again. I really believe it. It's going to be unbelievable, gun slinging, one hell of a battle. I look forward to my triumphant return. Let's go to war, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the man who has won more bonuses, won more fights by submission, holds more records than anyone in the history of the sport. Give it up for Donald Cowboy. Official weight, 170 for Cowboy! And his opponent, the former featherweight, the former lightweight champion of the world, the great Conor McGregor!
70 for Mr. McGregor. Oh, this is incredible. We're going to blow the fucking roof off this place, man. I cannot wait. Everyone says I never show up. This is the fight to show up for. I cannot wait. I can't wait to watch. Good luck to you, sir. Donald Cerrone, ladies and gentlemen. The Notorious, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, Connor, it's great to see you back, and it's great to see you motivated and excited about this. Give us your thoughts on why this fight means so much to you and what it means tomorrow night to fight Cowboy. How good do I look at 170? Yes, I feel real good at this weight. I'm coming for all of them in this division. It begins with Donald. Let's go, I'm excited. Thank you all for the support. Thank you for coming out. I apologize, I'm a little late. It's hard work getting the kids ready and bringing them to the events. So thank you all for your patience. You're in for a great show tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, I'm dedicating this fight to me, Ma, back home. I love you, Ma, we all love you. Conor McGregor, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. We'll see you all tomorrow night. Thank you. He's got, He's it. got it's it. under the it's under neck. The neck. There's the There's top. top. Still undisputed. Still When we saw him fight Khabib, he just, he fell short. It's really that simple. When skill versus skill, he fell short. We see him in the news for the wrong reasons, not for being in the right. octagon actually winning fights. What's he fighting for at this stage? He's, he's won some titles, he's won plenty of money. So uh, at 30, you know, with the second kid on the way, what would be driving him to do this again? Connor may or may not ever fight again, like who knows? He ruled the world, not just UFC, the world. He reached for the sword and he made it happen. It was magical. History has been made! You know, I, I don't see that same focus. This sport is my life. This is what gave me this life. And I must not go down that path, the cliche of the fighter that has it all, and then leave it all behind in ruins. That's not who I am. I must get my head screwed on and just get back in the game and fight for redemption, retribution, respect, and that's what I will do. Perfect world, when would you like to see him come back and against you? Listen, him and Cowboy want to fight. These two have been talking about fighting for a while here. This fight is nearly happening.